plays. Have you stressed to the team the uh, the ability to kind of make a statement with these next three games at all, or have you talked to them about that? Well, we hadn't we had so much focused on um, the opponents. We're trying to work on us and get better, and it's a great time for teaching moments for us, getting better on the defensive end, doing learning to uh, defend some concepts that we're probably not very good at. Um, but I, I think we're keeping practice short and intense, and then so they can focus on their academics. Holly, is there any other specific things you want to work on in, in this two-week period? Um, you know, Dan, I, I think just fine-tuning some of the defensive things that uh, we get lost with. We're, we're putting in some different zones, um, trying to clean up our press uh, defense. We hadn't been, we hadn't really used it a whole lot. So, and just trying to move the ball on offense and, and get to kind of know where each other are going and, and uh, just trying to fine tune the whole, our whole game really. Do you like having this kind of too, this long a break before this before I, this kind of stretch or does it make it? You know, I love I like this kind of break just because we can we can get down to some fundamentals that we're not good at. But I'm sure the players think that uh, this is way too long, two weeks, and all they think of is practice. And but um, we're we're trying to keep it as short and as intense as we can, just to make sure we don't wear them out. But then we got to make sure they stay in shape as well. How much better was it to go in this two week break with a win Sunday? <laughs> it was great. I'm sure they they probably think it was fantastic. It, it was it's good. It's uh, you know you go in feeling good about yourself, feeling good about you know each other and your teammates and. Uh, I think they can focus on their academics a little bit better. And then Massengale is back to playing the way Massengale can play. I know she had the preseason injuries, the nagging problems. How nice is it to have her back in, in form right now? Well, Massengale's art, she's a leader. And I tell you what, she has grown up so much from last year and become more of a vocal leader that we, we need her. Um, so it's great to have her injury free right now and leading the team, playing hard. Her defense is solid. So I know last game she didn't score a lot of points, but she distributed the ball and got everybody where they needed to be. She was she was the typical point guard that we needed. Both her and Izzy put photos up on their Twitter, Instagram account saying how much they love their head coach. Well, what, what's going on with <laughs> I that? I bribed them. I bribed them. <laughs> well, no, I just you know it, it, when you, I think they both feel good about themselves, and uh, and I feel good about those two. They play hard. Uh, they practice hard, so I think you're seeing the result of of, uh, of them putting in the time and really getting after it in practice, and you know they're, they're just enjoying what they're doing right now. Holly, you talk about where Sierra's game is right now. She she had a pretty good game on on Sunday, but she's been up and down a little bit. I mean, where do you where do you think she's at right now? I think Sierra has been up and down, but what I love about Sierra right now, Dan, is that she is not getting. Um, caught up in a mistake and just getting really down on herself. She's really, she's really learned to refocus, make a mistake, refocused, and, and get back out there. So that part, I, I think you're seeing a result of her, uh, her game right now being a little bit more steady than it was last year as far as, um, you know, makes a mistake and, and doesn't dwell on it. But I think Sarah gets better and better each game. We're playing her at the three, we're playing her at the four. So I think she's understanding she's, you know, multi-dimensional player, and that's where we're going to need her. You think she's still adjusting because she does end up against a lot of smaller, quicker players, or they end up against her. Is that still an adjustment? I think so. Do? I think Sierra's having to probably defend someone who's quicker than her, and so she's having to, to, to learn to adjust to that on the defensive end. Um, but I, I think she's, she's very smart, very heady. Uh, the only thing that, that I would. I want to make sure Sierra focuses on is not so many. She gets anxious with the ball sometimes and just just turns it over, and trying to get her to make sure that if she has it, if she gets a five second call, that's better than turning it over for her. So, making sure she doesn't um, get in the habit of, of of getting nervous with the ball and and just throwing it away. And she's really done a good job with it. But I thought you can see little streaks. Moments of her doing that. I wanted to shift off the Spain then too. She's starting to hit a few shots for you in some games. I mean, maybe not as much as as you would hope for, but are you seeing some? Are you seeing some some progress there? I I say? think I think Tabor's a scorer, and I think once she gets her shot, you know, when 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 players hit their shots, they're streaky. And then I thought North Carolina, she hit a couple shots and started feeling good about her game. Um, 
I, I don't worry. Tabor's in the gym all the time working, uh, shooting. So I, I just think she's got to get, get in a, on a roll and have make sure she knows. We're very confident in her to score. And then we need her scoring ability and that she can she can play on both ends of the floor. Is she put, do you think she's putting pressure on herself or has she been putting pressure I think on so. herself? I think so. I think so. I think she thinks she's going to come in the game and she has to immediately make a shot. And um, I, I don't. I don't. I don't sit. I don't tell her. You know, Tabor, you need to immediately go and score now. Do we expect her to make shots? Absolutely, because that's what she does. So I think that's a little bit of a self-imposed pressure. But um, I think North Carolina, she relaxed and, and played in the game. And the game came to her, and her shots fell. You had the two weeks off, then. It's not. You're not exactly easy your way back into the schedule with three ranked opponents in a row. How much of a yeah. concern is kind of that going to Texas and having a little bit of rust? Well, I, I, anytime you go on the road and, and play at Texas, and, and it's just it's a tough environment to play. Um, we go to Texas, go to, to go to Baylor, and then we come home for Stanford. It, it's a difficult, difficult run right now, uh, time for us. And so we go back to focusing on one game. We can't look ahead. Um, Texas is going to be a handful, so we got to focus on Texas, and then after Texas, regroup and get ready for the next game and the next. But. Um, our main concern right now is, is Texas and, and getting by them and uh, uh, making sure we're prepared for the others. We 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 will practice for everybody, but we will not we won't tell the players that's what we're practicing for. We've got to prepare for three teams because we play them back you know pretty close mm -hmm. back to back to back. So, um, but our main focus will be on Texas right now.